guys, it's me, Ray91. I'm talking about the and I'm talking about the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary direct that happened yesterday. If you didn't watch it, I'll have a link in the description below. You can go watch it and then come back here if you want. So yeah, the rumors that I think I'm not sure if it started, but according to the Nintendo Life article. It surfaced on VGC and then was backed up by Eurogamer. And once again, according to the Nintendo Life article, and I quote, in short, both outlets claim many of Mario's 3D adventures will be making a return in 2020 alongside a new Paper Mario game. Now, the new Paper Mario game, which is Paper Mario the Origami King, came out in July. And just yesterday, the Mario Direct, which announced a return of a good amount of the 3D Mario games, happened. So yeah, this rumor that began earlier this year was like really true. So what do I think about this Mario Direct? Well, I'm only going to talk about the few things. One thing I did like, 3D World, yes, it is coming to the Switch, right? But it's not just 3D World. When reboots and or remakes and or remasters come, I like them to add stuff because to just be a better graphic version of the game, I'm like, nah, usually I like them to add stuff, especially if they're asking you to pay a significant amount for it. 3D World is adding Bowser's Fury. I'm assuming this is like a new adventure. I'm not sure how long it is or whatnot. So that's good that you're getting an additional whatever. I'm Like I said, I'm assuming it's a maybe new storyline or whatnot, but I'm not exactly sure. I also like this whole Super Mario Bros. 35. It's cool. It's kind of like Tetris 99, except it's you against 34 people, I think. And what you get to do is any enemies you kill will go off into certain people's worlds. And that kind of makes the game harder, I think. And then you basically have to be the last Mario standing or running, as they pointed out in the video. Also, I like this whole Mario Kart augmented reality thing. It looks kind of cool how you get to set up the carts. You get to race real cars while racing also on the Nintendo Switch. And it's kind of cool that I wonder how that will work. That, I mean, I, I could see YouTubers going crazy with this. Imagine, like, YouTubers getting, like, 16 of those goal areas and going crazy. Like, maybe even setting it up in their neighborhood. That would be cool. It's not coming out till next year, so we'll have to wait and see for that. Other than that, yeah, they announced that you got Super Mario All-Stars. That's coming for free on the eShop, so that's good. Super Mario 35, which I mentioned earlier, that's also going to be a limited time for free for people who actually have an online membership, so that's good too. And then the big announcement for, I think, most people probably was the 3D All-Stars, which will also be limited when it comes to the retail edition, which is Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and then... Super Mario Galaxy. I'm not sure why Super Mario Galaxy 2 isn't included on this, but Super Mario Galaxy. And that's pretty good if you really want to play these old games, and I think they're optimized to play on the Nintendo Switch, and they have like increased graphics and whatnot. So, th for, those, so for those of you who really want a nostalgic run, this is for you. If you want to get, get, get some of those games, maybe that you never got, so, so maybe those who didn't have a Wii U want to get 3D World. And maybe some people never had the N64 or the GameCube or the Wii. So maybe they want to get the 3D All-Stars package so that they could play these Mario games, so that they could play these Mario games that they never owned. I don't know. But whatever the reason, it was actually a pretty good Direct. They had new game announcements. They had old games coming to Switch. And some of these games you won't have to pay for if you're a Nintendo member. So that's good too. The favorite part of the Direct for me was when they announced that if you get 3D Mario World, you also get Bowser's Fury. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to get 3D Mario World. I got it for the Wii U. Didn't actually play it that much. But adding that on actually gives more incentive to actually buy it on the Switch. But what was your favorite part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary Direct? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And may God bless you all.